How's it going, everybody? So I got Cummins ISX 12, uh, 350, the big boy. But um, I'm replacing the oil pressure sensor today. So I had a code for oil pressure sensor. Circuit failed high and low, and it was sporadic. So basically, and the oil pressure gauge was just, it's been zero for a bit. But so basically, the location of the actual sensor, it's in a very, very messed up place. So if I can get it to focus, okay, I'm gonna get my light. If I can get good lighting in there. Let's see, sorry. This is horrible. Anyways, there it is. It's right inside of the block. So you got 3CM right there. Power steering pump right there. It's right, especially where the, the shock is. This is a Peterbilt uh, 365. So basically, it's right back there. So it's it's pretty easy to locate but it's just a real pain in the butt to get to. And I tried to do it earlier when it was hot and it was just, it, it wouldn't happen. So I let it cool down a bit. Anyway, so how I got it out was there's a couple connections. There's this connection right here. It goes, it plugs in right here. That's kind of, er, plugs into right there. That one's kind of snaked in there. And then there's another one. This connector right here. Um, plugs in right there. And then there's the oil temperature sensor back there as well. Let's see. Right there. I unplugged that one as well. Just so I had more um, room. Also the freaking... Uh, Crankcase ventilation, the drain goes back down to the side of the block. There's a little dingus right there that has um, a connector to so push two tabs and get it out. Anyway, so it's a, got all that out of the way. It's an inch and a sixteenth. How I did it was a socket, a little shorty boy extension in it, and then a swivel freaking like that down into it with an inch and the 16th broke it loose and then it's got out the rest of the way by hand but anyways yeah so there it is right there get it out put the new one back in um there's a clip real cummins loves these i hate them so a red clip that you have to there's a um, little tiny tab right there right at the tip of my thumb inside of there that you have to push over and then push in i use a pick it's the easiest way but anyways that's the oil pressure sensor i'll um i'll keep you all updated if, if it fixed it i'm you know 100 positive that's what it'll be but i'll leave in the comments yeah fixed it whatever anyways thanks for watching later all right so there's the code that i had Engine oil pressure. Oops. So engine oil pressure failed. I'm sorry, uh, shorted high or above normal, which it is no longer active. And I got good oil pressure. Before, I had no oil pressure on the gauge or parameters. And that, uh, that code was active. So now I can clear it, get rid of the check engine light, good to go. Thanks for watching.